Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil. This is our 10th video on Laravel e-commerce project. And uh, in this video, we will create search functionality so that we can search our products inside our uh, website, right? So basically, we will just use this search option for creating the search functionality. We will just uh, make some little bit uh, style and CSS so that we can just stretch this search box till uh, around 500 pixel and all so that it will look little bit nice and all. So now these are the steps for creating this video. First of all, we will create a route for search page. Then we will uh, make a search form inside the header. Then we will create a, a search view. We will get the data from database and uh, then we will show this data on a search page. And uh, at the last, uh, we will go to the detail page on clicking on the searched data, right? So now let's get started. First of all, let's uh, create a search uh, route and just simply jump on web.php and uh, we can just create uh, copy and paste the previous URL and like search right and we don't need any ID and all oh my bad we don't need any ID and all so I can just remove it and uh, let's create a search function also so that we can just land on this search page when we are just search right so now open the product controller and uh, simply define a search functionality right and we will get the data in a dollar request parameter and uh, this para parameter will be type of request right and we are just exporting this request type from http right and uh, just simply return here dollar req which is request input right so that we can check that what we are actually getting inside the request so everything is ready so uh, a route and function so now let's open a header dot blade dot php right and uh, just simply write here search instead of uh, submit and uh, let's add a uh, one more class so that we can stretch uh, and add some style so just write here search box right and uh, just simply put here uh, master and just simply add here with let's say 500 pixel right and let's make it important because uh, sometimes this is never not worked when we have the lots of uh, libraries like bootstrap and all so now this is looking uh, much better now whenever i'm just going to search it like test oh uh, i just need to add some more parameters one is i need to add here action so just simply put here action and action will be on a search route and uh, the name of uh, this field can be like query right and now let's see what you're actually getting here so let's search a tv and you can see that we got a query as in tv right so that's all route is working fine uh, search box is working fine now let's uh, search that on the behalf of query right so just uh, go inside the product controller and first of all let's take a variable with the name of data and just write here product colon colon where and in the where we can add the search condition so we can just simply add here like a name and the name will become inside this query mm, like this oh like this and here we can put here query but uh, this is not fair enough because it will just going to match exact keywords right so we can just add here a like clause so just write here like and uh, just simply add here percent dot and similarly let's do it in the last percent I think it will work right and if you just want to confirm it then you can just simply return it let me just write like this return and uh, all right so we got an error because we have to add here uh, get function 
right so if the query is looking a little bit long then uh, we can just simply add like this and let's see what we are actually getting here now we have a json format and convert this json format to in page so now we need a search page also let's just remove this return cancel this return here and uh, just go inside uh, views copy the data from product.blade.php right so that we can uh, save a little bit time and uh, just create a one more page uh, let's say name is search.blade.php right paste it we don't need this browser so we can uh, just simply remove it and that part also and 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 uh, mm, I think this is extra div let me just check yep this one is extra and now everything is fine so now let's uh, just change some classes name like uh, we can add here um, search searched item and uh, we can add here uh, convert this h3 tag to h2 and similarly add a description uh, my bad description and it can be like a h5 tag we don't need it too much bold and large text here right so everything is fine here now go back again to our product controller and uh, just simply write here return view and let's add a search which is our view name and uh, in the second parameter let's take tall uh, product it will be like products right products and uh, this product will be have a value like dollar data now let's see what we are actually getting here now you can see that we got some data but uh, trending product is not a right keyword here uh, heading here so let's uh, change it um, here it is just take h2 and we can just write here result for product right and uh, we can just write here uh, okay h4 we can add here because i just don't want a big text here or big heading you can say that right this is fine now they are not uh, looking cool in a side so let's take them in a center and let's add here a filter column right so now just uh, define here a div add here a call sm3 or 4 and just add here a text like a filter products and all and take again a div provide a class call sm4 and paste the previous stuff now this is looking more cool because now product are inside the center so let's say i'm just going to search here mobile so what i'm getting here two mobiles if i search here a then i just got her panasonic because only a is existing in the panasonic name then let's say i search the i i is related in the mobile again mobile and the panasonic and sony and much more right so uh, these are the you can say that the stuff for how we can write a search page and when we just uh, click on this product we are able to just go inside the uh, you can say that uh, detail page you can just go on any one page like uh, again just go to the mobile let's say so again let's click on a oppo and we get, get we are getting that oppo detail here right so this is about the uh, search page if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box in the next video we will learn that how we can uh, make how we will make a video on the add to cart items right and, uh, and whenever we will click on the add to cart 
the data will be added here right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care